Wow, there's flash on this thing. Anyways, uh, let me try to zoom in. I can't zoom in on this thing. Yes, I can. Okay, so apparently I need to do that. There's the focus right, right there. There's a bunch of wires over there, which I haven't actually cleaned up yet. Over there. Um, so, that's the focus right. It is hooked up into da, 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 the Shield TV. Um, and we are running our. Hmm, this is swipe up, swipe down thing. Okay, it's not zoom, pinch to zoom. Anyways. I'm, uh, I've got my Shield TV hooked up with the Focusrite plugged in through USB, um, and I have, oh, my practice amp, which is an orange crush, going into the Focusrite, uh, to get the effects, and then I have the monitoring thing, I have, uh, a pair of Sennheiser headphones, so unfortunately you won't be able to listen to what I'm recording, um, I wish I had speakers to, to use right now, I don't, um, but I have that, I have, yeah, it's the focus, right? Okay, so there's a piece of software that I have side-loaded called Audio Evolution Mobile. Uh, it's a paid, paid doll with in-app purchases. Um, so you can buy whatever you want, what you don't want, you don't have to buy. I really wish I could turn that flash off, <laughs> but I guess maybe it works well. Anyway, so I'm going to pull up Audio Evolution Mobile by uh, Voice Command, like this. That, yeah, now I really wish that thing would shut off. Well, I'll get it. <laughs> uh, launch Audio Evolution Mobile. And now we are in here. Uh, I'm going to try to use their their uh, built-in. This is Android has a rec recently has a it, from Lollipop. They have um, a uh, USB driver for, for uh, USB interfaces, but they have their own that they built from scratch, which apparently is better, but there's a little bit of an issue, and I'll show you what it is, it says, allow, you know, this app to be used by default, let me just hit OK without the default thing, and it just keeps doing that, it's the only way I can stop it from doing that, OK, hit B, OK, so hitting B seems to stop it from doing that. But it seems to work better once you um, stop it from doing that. <laughs> stop it from doing that. Stop it from doing that. Anyways, I gotta switch on my amp. So my amp is now on, and I gotta plug it. I, I should have plugged in my guitar before. So I gotta plug my guitar in. In here. Yeah. And unfortunately, you're not gonna hear the uh, the sound when it's being recorded because it's coming from headphones. I don't have a speaker to uh, try that one. So, uh, I got a shield controller right up my asshole right now, and I just pulled it out. And there you go. Uh, no, but seriously, here, we hit record. And, uh, let's see, did I, uh, as you see, it's recording. And no, it's probably a lot of noise. Uh, I gotta check left and right. Okay. Okay, so, and I never got a pick. I didn't get a pick. So. Okay, so blah, 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 that was really it. I don't want to make you sit here listening to a bunch of, you know, weird noises coming from my guitar that you probably can't even make out. I'm going to get this to play back. Now, I could play it back through my headphones, but I'm just going to do it a different way. Now, my, my, my uh, amp doesn't have the best sound for distortion, so you probably maybe have something better. I mostly use digital effects through phones and tablets and computers and whatever um, that sound better than anything I could afford. So. 
so I just gotta stop this thing. Oh yeah, that's right, that's how you stop it. With the controller, or you can hook up a mouse. So like, you can use now the right stick as a mouse because of an update that uh, NVIDIA pushed uh, that works in anything that doesn't have support for the right analog stick. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull the USB here, just so you can hear the sound from the uh, TV, or from the, this thing's sound bar. So, you can hear that it was recorded, and I can uh, actually go ahead and I can split that. I'm not sure where this starts, but I'm going to guess on it. I don't give a shit. And we're going to boom, like that. And then pull, edit, pull that over. I probably, I'm probably wrong, but yeah, it's just a little noise. Okay, so that's kind of long. I'm going to go ahead and take this and, uh, what am I doing here? What's going on? Back, so, oh, okay, I'm just going to edit menu here. So I can go ahead and I think it's the third little dot here. Select that and hit this. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Hold, long hold the, the waveform. I always do that. And then hit normalize. You don't have to use the, uh, <laughs> the, the mouse for that, obviously. You can use the controller for some of this. It basically has partial controller support, but not a lot. Uh, so we have normalized this now. And let's see how loud that fucker is. It's just bullshit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's just nonsense fucking recording. Um, and if you wanted, you could lay a drum track, so there's an option to add drum tracks. And go from here, you can add a mini instrument track, um, USB, mini, whatever, add audio tracks. But if you want to add a drum track, you can go here. I have, this is one of the in-app purchases, is the drum, rock drum kit. Um, okay. Now, we can lay a drum track down with, like, bass, you know, you can just tap things and have it be, like, you know, every other... Yeah. Or you can just go like this. All the way across. Um, right there. Snare drum all the way across. And hi-hat all the way across. Whatever. And, um, yeah, so you do nonsense like that, whatever. Um, so you lay it how you want. And then once you're done, you can play, you can do, change the level by, you know, you go to the rock and choose track two, you want to select track one, you select the waveform, and you can change it, you can put effects on it, and uh, whatever you want, you change the EQ, I think the EQ is like, yeah, the second dot over is the EQ, and you can adjust the EQ however you want, there's buses and all that crap. Bus to go to school. I say that's a load of bullshit that doesn't really, you know, there's no timing there. <laughs> but I'm just showing you shit. That you can do. Um, we have reverb. You can make a joke song where you make a heavy metal song and use fucking uh, auto tune on your vocals. Although then you'd have to purchase the in app purchase of auto tune, which I actually have. <laughs> I really did do a, a video one day with making fun of that shit. Um, and the coffee went off. I think that happens in the last video too. I, I drink a lot of coffee. Constantly drink coffee. Um, so yeah, but that's you can record your, your instruments um, on the Shield TV, and uh, you can get them. You know, you can mix down a whole track. Do the whole fucking album if you wanted to, and uh, you can even export it and work on it in, on a PC if you wanted to. And that's that. And there's uh, you go here, save your project, um, you can delete it, you can do a lot of stuff. 
they export to other dog rendered tracks. Uh, so you can basically just have a bunch of tracks and, and put them together in any DAW you want. Um, export mini file. Set a project, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to delete the project because it's bullshit. There's absolutely nothing worth keeping here. So I'm just going to delete it. And there we go. So that, that's uh, something you can do on the Shield TV. You do have to sideload it. I always find that... I, I can't stand when I have to sideload things. It's always nice when it's on the 